Richard Corston spent many years in the army, rising to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. He later went into business and traveled extensively. He'd always felt the need for a spiritual dimension to his life, but he was past 50 when he decided to convert to Buddhism. I did really go into Christianity seriously when I was about 30. In fact, ever since the end of World War II, I had felt very confused and uh, rather empty inside myself. As a businessman, I traveled along around the world and I, I was deeply interested in religion by then due to my Christian experience. And then finally, my company sent me to Japan uh, on several occasions, and on one of those occasions, I discovered this Buddhism. Buddhism, as you probably know, was founded about 3,000 years ago in northern India, and since that time, many different sects have blossomed. For instance, our sect, which is called Nichiren Shoshu, the orthodox school of Nichiren Buddhism, is one of those sects. But there are, of course, uh, fundamental beliefs which apply to all forms of Buddhism. Um, one of them is the existence of a strict law of cause and effect, that everything you do uh, has an effect, and that the effect is absolutely relative to the cause. So if you make a great cause, uh, a good cause, um, helping others, or making this world better in some way or other, then the, the effect of that will be beneficial to your life. But if you make a bad cause, that is to say you hurt or harm or worse still destroy somebody, then uh, in turn the effect will be just as bad on you. Life above all things is to be respected and is to be permitted to uh, retain its great dignity. This is a very fundamental point. It is not a worship of a personality, but it is devotion to trying to achieve the same life condition or life state as the Buddha. The basic practice is chanting nam myoho renge but uh, in the ceremony we call gongyo, which means assiduous practice, which we do twice a day, you are chanting, of course, with your mouth and tongue, those words, nam myoho renge kyo, but your mind is alert and is, in fact, expressing one's determinations or prayers and also one's great desire to live in harmony with life itself. You are chanting to change your life so that you can become one with the Buddha state in life. In other words, so that you can elevate your own life into that highest state. Although I may have covered it up outwardly, I was an angry person inside. That's all changed now. And um, that, of course, had a great effect on my life. Um, uh, also, perhaps because I didn't like myself too much, uh, uh, often I would drink too much. I mean, I, didn't, I wasn't alcoholic, but I drank. And uh, this certainly wasn't very good, you know, from the point of view of relationships with people. So uh, all this has totally changed. When I married M Mitsuko, uh, she was already practicing this Buddhism. She'd been practicing about five years before I actually met her. Uh, so, of course, she was uh, an incredible help to me. I met her when I first began to take an interest in it. We didn't get married for another perhaps two or three years, but nevertheless, uh, my growing friendship with her uh, meant that she had to take on the burden of answering a lot of my questions. But I think the main thing is that we have this purpose in life and it's, it's you know, still lots of way to go. So always every day there's another aim and another challenge, really. I've actually seen my own life change for the, be for the better and I've had a lot of actual proof that it really is true that if you do your best 
to live in rhythm with this law of life which Buddhism teaches, then definitely also your environment uh, will act in harmony with your life, protect it, and uh, bring more and more uh, benefit and therefore happiness.